the biggest profit out of all of these models it's probably private label but i we cannot say about private label because we never been there we don't have private label but out of those three it's the best profit is in in, in retail arbitrage that's like you can easily find something like 50 70 100 percent ROI you can really do it you can you can earn like really good money like it's a lot of work but it's good money too and it's fast start that and it goes online arbitrage because you have to remember when you shop locally you compete to only people who live locally too so only to people who live at the same area when you buy something online you compete to the whole world because everyone can buy online from any country and sell on Amazon. So that's why it's very high competition and sometimes price because of that tank and sometimes you need to take a loss. That happens too. I just want to be honest and uh, for you guys not to have like all those bubbles and like have a picture of Lamborghini on the second day you started on Amazon. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in reality. So hmm. and wholesale is the smallest profit out of wow. th those three models but it's more hands-off at least mm -hmm. for us what we do now because you can order in bulk we don't spend time on re returns because we know with online arbitrage it's going to be some damages something like sent wrong you need to return it you need to make labels it's also time and uh, with wholesale it's basically we pick we pay and that's it and then we re reorder when it's out of stock that is basically the process do you need to work on the listings on Amazon? No, there are ready listings that you find, right? With the wholesale. No, that's yes, that is private label. You can, if you want, you can. You can optimize, you can add pictures. Mm -hmm. But I think if it's not your listing, can you really? You can always advertise on the listings. So you can put them in the umbrella under advertising. And that's why your listing is going to show up in somebody else's listing. For example, mm -hmm. let's go to the Barbie doll. You see that one person has a similar listing on the doll, but it includes one more item you are only selling the barbie doll so you advertise it putting their asin so it shows that the person that doesn't need that extra item can just very well buy yours so you get some extra sales that way you can always create your own listing if you do the bundles though which is another thing that we have tried <laughs> yes <laughs> there are Absolutely. many many ways it all depends on how much budget you have if you don't have too much budget then retail arbitrage is the one that's going to give you the most roi so you mm -hmm. can have the snowball starting and the, get the profit so you, then you can move to another model when you have more money and less time let's say or when you have more money and you don't want to spend time and you want to do something else altogether then wholesale might be the model that's what we want now we have other projects with Marina that we are working on so we wanted to free up some of our time in order to pursue them and wholesale it's looking like it might fit very well for us since the prep is being handled so when the items arrive from the suppliers Marina said damaged now that I still I'm working with my prep center I am the one that need to call them and say well you short shipped me this item arrived wrong this was damaged so I'm responsible to do all that correspondence and this time consuming but with ECOM they are the ones that handle all of that area as well 